hi hello welcome to all in this video we are going to discuss about uh, this uh, chapter returns chapter ffqs that is test your knowledge questions first question which type of which type of taxpayer need to be filed annual return under section 44 under section 44 here there may be every registered person is required to file annual return but except some persons except some person that is every registered person every registered person other than isd casual taxable person non resident taxable person tds deductor that is tax deduct at source tax collect at source are required to file annual return in form gstr 9 so every registered person is required to file in form gstr 9 but except the person isd casual non resident taxable person tds person and tcs person is not required to for registration not required to for annual return as per gstr 9 taxpayer under composition scheme are required to file annual return in form gstr 9a gstr 9a casual taxable person casual taxable person non resident but but casual taxable person non resident taxable person iad and person authorized to deduct tax at source are not required to for annual return but now now tax persons who is filing and who is a composition scheme person is required to file annual return in gstr 4 gstr 4 next next question what is there in second question is an annual return under section 44 and final return one and the same no it is not a same annual return is different from final return final return is filed whenever you are closing the business that is final you will not file any returns after that but uh, annual return is required to file every year and after annual return also you are required to file normal returns that is annual return has to be filed by every registered person by every registered person paying tax as normal tax payer within certain exception within with certain exceptions next final return has to be filed only by those registered person who have applied for up cancellation of registration who are going for outside that is who are cancelling their registration they are required to file their annual uh, that is final return the final return has to be filed within 3 months from the date of cancellation or date of cancellation order whichever is later that is a uh, final return is filed within 3 months from the date of cancellation or date of cancellation order was passed next question number 3 do do isd that is input service distributor need to file separate statement of outward supplies with their return no it is not required isd need to file only return only return in that is question number 3 no the isd need to file only return in form gstr 6 form gstr 6 for isd and the return has the details of credit received by them from the service provider and credit distributed by them to the recipient units so whatever credit is received from supplier that is received from the service provider and whatever credit distributed to them to the receiving recipient units that information is required to file in form gstr 6 since their return itself covers those aspects there is no requirement to file separate statement of outward supplies for iit sir only the statement is required that next question number four is completed no oh, no question number four is it compulsory is it compulsory for taxpayer to file return by himself is it compulsory for taxpayer to file return by himself no 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 the returns may be filed by taxpayers or tax practitioners or through any other persons who may be specified next question number 5 question number 5 mr anand kumar a registered tax payer file gstr 1 for the month of august before the due date later in the month of february next year 
he discovers errors in gstr1 of the month of august already file and want to revise it so you want to revise it you are required to advise him following you advise him on the future further course of actions in this scenario where where the filing of revised return for any correction or error or omission is not available under gst the rectification of errors or omission is allowed so first question will be which one question four will be no registered taxpayer can also get his return filed through goods gst practitioners as authorized by him subject to confirmation of registered person over mail or sms each time when return filed by the gstp that is goods service tax practitioner fifth one the mechanism of filing of revised return mechanism of filing of revised return for any correction of error in gstr1 for the month of sorry mechanism for filing of revised return for any correction of error or omission is not available in under gst the rectification of errors or omission is allowed in the subsequent returns subsequent returns therefore mr anand kumar who discovered an error in gstr1 for the month of august cannot revise it he is not allowed to revise it however he should rectify said error in the gstr1 file for the month of february file for the month of february and should pay the tax and interest if any he is liable to pay tax and interest if any in case there is a short payment in the return to be furnished for the february the error can be rectified by furnishing appropriate particulars in the amendment table which table we will use for the rectifying the error we will use the amendment table containing gstr1 however as per section 373 of the cgst act no rectification of details furnished in gstr1 shall be allowed after after filing of monthly return gstr3b for the month of september for the month of september following end of the financial year to which such details pertain or filing of return annual return whichever is earlier for the month of march march month you are required to rectify before september month return before filing of gstr3b monthly return of september or before filing annual return whichever is earlier that is question number 5 what is there in question number 6 in question number 6 b limited has filed the return for 3 months of october belatedly so he has filed belated returns at the time of computing the late fee at the time of computing the late fee to be paid for delay in returning filing return filing b limited has taken view that if the late fee has been if the late fee has been paid has by the provisions under the cgst act so there is no requirement for paying of the late fee under sgst act for the same default whether b limited has taken the correct view the action taken by the b is incorrect view because there is no separate cgst sgst even though they provided cgst same is reflected in sgst also so understanding of b limited is incorrect for arriving at the late fee payable on account of delay filing of gst or return filing of gst returns the computation of late fee is made separately for cgst and sgst utgst this is because the provisions of the late fee and delayed filing of return are prescribed in both cgst act and sgst utgst act also a comma return is filed for both the law that is question number 6 next question number 7 what is there in question number 7 tax authorities has been scrutinizing the returns furnished by a limited okay during the scrutiny process a limited has made aware by the authorities about an incorrect disclosure in the return under section 39 filed by it for a particular tax paid a limited seeks your opinion to rectify that incorrect disclosure it is there it is there on its own or not it is there incorrect disclosure made in the return so there is incorrect disclosure by the a limited 
and tax authorities during the process of scrutiny so rectification of incorrect disclosure cannot be made on its own when before authorities was came he may rectify on his own after authorities was came he is not allowable on his own question number um, 7th question in terms of section 39 9 that is section 39 related to returns any rectification in return any rectification in return that is under section 39 furnished by the register person is allowed only when the error or omission is discovered on account of reason other than scrutiny so he may rectify if he find the error other than scrutiny or audit or inspection or enforcement activity by the tax authorities before they come into office you must identify that amount whatever the amount you are find error in the present case since the current incorrect disclosure has been highlighted to a, a limited by the tax authorities so here the tax authorities was came and they find out the incorrect disclosure during the process of scrutiny so the rectification of incorrect disclosure cannot be made by a limited on its own that is seventh question answer next question number eight what is there in eighth question so eighth question abc limited has applied for cancellation of registration gst registration in the month of march okay the consultant of abc limited has suggested to furnish the final return in the month of september so for the march he has applied from application within three months or our passing of order will be within three months he must to file the final return he has advised the company that final return need to be furnished before due date of furnishing of the return for the month of september of subsequent financial year or before that or before that whichever is earlier however the jurisdictional authorities have yet not passed the order of cancellation due to reason not known to abc limited advise the give advice given by the consultant abc is correct or not e question number eight the advice provided by the consultant is not correct because question number eight because in terms of section 45 in terms of section 45 every registered person every registered person who is who is closing their business every registered person who is required to furnish gstr 3b and whose registration has been cancelled is required to file final return normally we have to require to pay uh, we are required to file gstr 3b and if you are cancelled you are required to file final return within three months of date of cancellation or date of order of cancellation whichever is later whichever is later will be taken in the given case the registration of the company has not been cancelled has not been cancelled therefore therefore requirement of filing of final return will arise only the order was provided only the order was provided here the order was not passed by the department order was not passed by the department requirement of filing final return will arise only when registration of the company gets cancelled in our case the company has not been cancelled that is question number eight next question number nine what is there in question number nine xyz limited has deducted tds has deducted tds for the consideration payable to a limited for supplies made by it the deductee that is a limited six your advice on taking credit of for the tds deducted by the xyz limited also whether tax deducted by xyz limited will be shown in electronic credit ledger or electronic cash ledger of a limited so in the present case a can take tds amount which is deducted by the xyz in its electronic cash ledger and use the same payment to tax interest or penalty whatever the amount so question number nine answer in terms of section 515 in terms of section 515 read with rule for 66 the deductee the deductee shall claim credit in his electronic cash ledger in his electronic cash ledger of the tax deducted and reflected in gstr 7 of deductor after validation after validation similarly rule 87 9 provide that any amount deducted under section 51 shall be created to electronic cash ledger of the directory so it will be created to electronic cash ledger of the directory 
therefore in the present case a limited can take credit of tds amount deducted by xyz in its electron cash ledger and use the same amount of same payment of tax or interest or penalty or late fee or any other amount next question number 9 question number 10th whether gstp are required to furnish any return for disclosure of activities carried out by them for any of the registered person doing the tax period so there is no specific provision for gstp sir, to disclose the activities carried out by the for any registered person doing the tax spread so it is not required any specific return sir. answer question number 10th in terms of section 48 in terms of section 48 a registered person may authorize an approved gstp that is goods service trans uh, goods service um, gstp practitioner for to furnish the details of outward supplies under section 37 the details of inward supplies under section 38 and returns under section 39 or annual return under section 44 or final return under section 45 and to perform other prescribed functions. Thus, the GSTP can furnish the specified documents or information on behalf of the registered person with the prior authority of the registered person. He will file the returns on behalf of registered person before the prior authority. However, there is no specific returns furnished furnishing mechanism for GSTP to disclose the activities carried out by it for any of the registered person doing the tax spread. He is not required to file any return 